Okay, tuloy na natin. So now we're going to go with the evolution talaga of human being. This is part of uh, uh, Charles Darwin's theory. Hominids, the general term used to categorize the group of early humans and other human-like creatures that can walk erect during the prehistoric period. So, dito nagsistart na kasi sinasabi nila na tao galing sa unggoy, di ba? Na kung saan, papano yun? Kasi ang unggoy, naglalakot sila, still may paa, ganun gila kamay. So, parang apat yung points na, uma uh, na tumatapak sa sahig. Well, as humans, dalawa na lang, di ba? So, from quad, uh, quad pedal to bipedal. So, ayun na nga, nagta-start na mag-evolve from four-legged creature to two-legged creature. So, there are four categories of hominids. So, pasensya ka na mahirap i-pronounce ito eh. Sahelan, Sahelan Tropus, Ardipithecus, Australopithecus, and the Homo. Okay, the first one, this is Sah Sahelan Tropus Tadensis. So, this is, uh, nabuhay sila noon na 6 to 7 million years ago. So, they are ape-like, mukha talaga mga unggoy, and also human-like. So, yung skull nila o kanilang bungo is parang kapareho na rin na human. Also, same with Australopithecus. Tapos, ang tangkad nila is almost similar with the chimpanzees. The brain size is 320 to 300, uh, 320 to 380 cc. So, maliit ang ngipin nila. And may ability na sila na maglakad na upright. So, nakatayo na. Ardipithecus. So, they are also called the ape on the ground. So, they lived 6 ah, 5.6 million years ago. So, ayan. Tingnan nyo yung mga itsura nila. Mamaya, yun ay itsura nyo. Ay, hindi, joke lang. So, ayan. So, we have Ardipithecus cadaba and Ardipithecus ramidus. Okay, so are the typicals, ang height nila is 4 feet. Nako po, marami yata natatama ang Pinoy dito. Maliliit. So, weight nila about 120 pounds. So, similar sa ipang kanilang mga bungo. Maliit ang utak, by pedal, ibig sabihin naglalakad na dalawang paa. So, they live in jungles and forests like chimpanzees. Okay, another one is Australopithecus or the Southern Ape. So, 5 million to 1 million years ago. So, medyo po, ano na tayo, nag na. So, medyo malaki ang brain niya compared sa nauna natin. So, 560, almost one-third of the size of the modern human brain. So, medyo lumaki na siya. So, ganun pa rin, upright, bipedal. But this time, marunong na sila gumamit na tools. Pero hindi sila gumagawa na tools. Marunong na sila gumamit. Siguro kung ano makita nila, ginagamit nila. So, they are also food scavengers. Ibig sabihin, naghanap sila na makakain nila. Okay, the next one is the homo. Walang kinalaman to sa mga ano, ha, homosexual ha. We're still in the ano, evolution. Okay, homo, they are classified as humans and not human-like creatures because they have bigger brains and wear bipedal. So, malaki na talaga utak nila at saka naglalakad na talaga sila na upright using two feet. Okay, so the first one is we have the homo habilis. So, maliit din. But this time, mal ang brain size sila 700 cc na. Medyo malaki na. Kung may kitang sa picture, gumagamit na rin sila ng mga tools. Homo erectus, so malaki na talaga. So, large brain, 1,000 cc. Lived in shelters, food gatherers, and crafted materials. So, medyo marunong sila gumamit ng mga materials and tools. And then, ito na. Homo sapiens. So, Homo sapiens is the only extant human beings. The name of Latin for wise men and was introduced in, 19, in 1758 by Carlius Linnaeus, who is himself the original type specimen. Kaya kung makikita ninyo, tayo mga tao ngayon, tinatawag na tayo na Homo sapiens. Si Carl Linnaeus, or kilala as Carl Linnaeus, siya yung nag, ano, nag invento ng mga uh, genus family. Kaya kung makikita nyo, di ba, Homo sapiens, si Carl Linnaeus, ano pangalan niyan? Lagi yung tatandaan, the first letter of the first word, Homo, 
or kung ano man yung magiging family niya is kailangan ka, I'm, not, I'm not sure kung family o genus or species I, I know, genus species pala so homo is the genus so homo, it should be capital and the species which is sapiens kailangan small letter ayun na pagkakaalam ko so correct me if I'm wrong na lang so homo sapiens evolved in Africa like other early humans that were living at this time they gathered and hunted food and evolved behaviors that helped them respond to the challenges of survival in unstable environment kaya kung may kita nito manood na lang kayo sa mga youtube marami mga videos about uh, evolved ng, uh, pag evolved ng tao meron pang isa about lucy so maganda rin yung hanapin nyo yan marami kayo matutunan about uh, the evolution of human Okay, there are two types of Homo sapiens. So, meron tayo dito Homo sapiens Neanderthalensis. So, they had a brain size larger than a modern man and were gigantic in size. Also, they had large head and jaw and were very powerful and muscular. Sana all. <laughs> they were carnivores and the tools from the era indicate that they were hunters. Siyempre, ba? Kaya malalaking katawan siguro, no? They were also caving, uh, caving dwellers, so nakatira sila sa caves, but their caves were more comfortable and they lived in groups and hunted for food gathering. So in other words, may society na sila kasi marami na sila magkakasama. So in order for them to survive, magsasama-sama sila sa isang grupo, siguro they have techniques para maka, makahuli sila na pagkain nila. So magaling, food gatherers sila. The only thing, hindi sila... Uh, producers, they are food gatherers. Iba kasi yung producers. I will maybe I will discuss that on the next on uh, the other topics. Kung anong difference ng gatherers sa uh, producers. Now let's go with he Homo sapiens sapiens. It is also known as the modern day man. This is kung ano tayo ngayon compared to the Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. They be they become smaller in size. Alumni tayo. So, brain size natin is reduced to 1,300cc. They were also, uh, they also have a reduced in the size of their jaw, rounding the skull and chin. So, Cro-Magnon was the earliest of the Homo sapiens. They spread wider from Europe, Australia, and the Americas. They were omnivores, so kumakain tayo ng meat, kumakain tayo ng mga gulay, and also plants. So, had skillful hands and developed the power of thinking, producing art, more sophisticated tools, and other sentiments. So, possession na kayo. Medyo malakas yung aso dito. Ayan. So, pa, ito na talaga siguro tayo.